Following Saturday's UFC 282 event at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, UFC President Dana White announced the recipients of the performance-based bonuses. Gate was 4.4 million. The fight of the night was uh, Till and Duplessis, and performance of the night, since it's the holidays, and I'm in a good mood, I gave everybody who got to finish $50,000, so there's a lot of them. <laughs> Bryce Mitchell and Ilya Topuria kicked off the main card. Both men entered the octagon undefeated and ranked. Mitchell at number nine and Topuria at number 14. When it was all said and done, Topuria left the cage with his undefeated record intact. He looked incredible tonight. He went out there and absolutely dominated and, um, you know, a really badass, tough kid. And he, and he looked damn good doing it. I mean, that's the fight of the night. I don't, I don't think his stock drops at all. Um, you know, if he would have went out there and got destroyed in the first round like it looked like it was going to happen, but he did the exact opposite. He weathered that storm, stayed out of submissions, and, uh, you know, then he comes back and you think he's going to win the fight. I, I thought it was an awesome fight. That's why it was fight of the night, and I, I don't think his stock dropped at all. And, and for Duplessis, what, what an incredible win for him. I think that that slam at the end, I think that took the life out of out of tail. That was all. I mean, did you hear that when it, when they hit the ground? Yeah, that was that was that was brutal. I think that's what ended the fight more than I think than the choke. This is corner work. You just lost the first two rounds. You have to go in there and finish him. You know, and and Ponzinibbio went in there, got rocked, and then you know kept it together and ends up finishing the fight. And Morono fought like a stud. Not to mention the fact, too, that, uh, that um, you know, Ponzinibbio was expecting to fight a southpaw, older guy who's been in some wars, and he ends up in there with this young savage who, you know, can crack. So just have nothing but respect for both guys. And, uh, you know, we give Morono his, his win money, too. Paddy Pimblett had his toughest matchup against Jared Gordon in what became a controversial decision with all three judges scoring the fight 29-28 for Pimblett. Gordon had a horrible game plan going into that third round. You think you won the first two rounds with, with the judges? I mean, how, how do you know that? Why go in there and throw away the third round and not go in and fight your ass off and try to win? If you, if you think you know who won what round or whatever, you're crazy. I've been doing this for 23 years. I have no fucking idea what those guys are gonna do or what they're gonna say. I, I gotta go after the ref too. You know, a big fight, co-main event, third round. I, I, I heard that Ankalaev is upset and whatever. What do you want me to do, you know? You got, you got beat up the first two rounds and, and you know, you took him to the ground, you started, you know, what are you gonna do? But I guess the question is, what do you do now, right? I mean, oh. you're making title, split. You do Glover versus Jamal Hill in uh, Brazil for the vacant title.